why cold approaching and online dating are two of the worst ways to meet women and what you should be doing instead. In order to understand why online dating and cold approaching are two very low probability strategies, we need to understand what makes men attracted to women and what makes women attracted to men. For men, it's easy. Men just need to look at a woman to tell whether or not she's attractive. But why is this? Is this because men are visual creatures? Not really. It has to do with evolution and our instincts. Men are attracted to women that display signs of youth and signs of health. And when we say signs of health, that really means beauty. Beauty is a subjective label that we give to a woman that shows signs of health, like clear eyes, clear skin, good teeth, symmetric face, etc. But why is this? Why are men instinctively attracted to women that show signs of health and signs of youth? Well, imagine a bunch of cave dudes way back in the days of hunter-gatherers and they all had randomly generated instincts that made them attracted to a random collection of women. Some guys just randomly liked old women that were healthy. Some guys liked old women that weren't so healthy. Some guys liked middle-aged women that were healthy. Some guys liked middle-aged women that weren't so healthy. Some guys liked young women that were healthy. Young women that weren't so healthy. And so these guys got together with whatever girls they were attracted to and they made a bunch of babies. Now, the guys that were attracted to young, healthy girls would make the most babies simply because young, healthy girls have more baby-making years ahead of them. And so the guys that had the randomly generated instinct that made them attracted to young, healthy women or women that showed signs of youth and health, they would make more babies than everybody else. And eventually this couple, this group of people would outpopulate everybody else. And this is who we are descended from. So when a man looks at a woman, he can tell right away if she's gorgeous or not because men are attracted to women that show signs of youth and signs of health and you can determine these right away when you look at her. It's no coincidence that the entire fashion industry is designed to make women look younger and healthier. And so for men, the attraction signals come visually and very, very quickly. What about women? Well, think about a whole bunch of random women back in the day. They got together with a bunch of random men. Which men would be most likely to make sure her babies get fed? The guys that show signs of high productivity, high continuous productivity. But it would be a little inefficient for her to want to go hunting with him every day to make sure he was a good hunter. So the signs that indicate he would be a good hunter would be all of the respect and admiration he gets from the rest of the tribe. If this guy is going out every day and he's one of the best hunters in the tribe, he's going to get a lot of respect. He's going to get a lot of admiration from the other people in the tribe because he provides the most calories to everybody. And so for a woman, what makes her attracted to a man are signs of status. Signs of relative status to all the people that they know. Relative status to the people that know him. Relative status to the people that know him and greatly appreciate what he does for the tribe. And so to recap, men are attracted to women because of signs of youth and health. Women are attracted to men based on signs of status. Now understand, this has absolutely nothing to do with socioeconomic status. That's the biggest myth in modern dating. You can have a lot of money and still be absolutely a nobody to everybody around you. You can be a recluse, never leave your home, never talk to people. Nobody in the world knows who you are, but you can make millions of dollars. And you won't have very good social skills. You won't have a lot of confidence, which is why just having money is not enough for a girl to feel attracted to you. She needs to feel attracted to you or her instincts need to feel attracted to you based on your signs of status, how other people treat you, how you interact with other people, your conversation skills, your social skills, your confidence, whether or not you're a leader or not. 
whether or not you're friendly to most people or not, whether or not you can lead most conversations with other people or not. And guess what? For a girl's instincts to make this determination about a man, that takes time. She needs to interact with him. She needs to see him interact with other people. She needs to have several conversations with him. She needs to get a sense of his ambition. And none of these traits can come through in online dating or a cold approach. When you use online dating or cold approaching as your main strategy to attract women, you are filtering out your most important qualities. So unless you actually enjoy online dating, unless you actually enjoy cold approaching as a hobby, stop doing it. It's a waste of time. So what should you do instead? Well, the ideal situation would be to replicate what her instincts want based on evolution, to replicate the ancient tribal environment where you come pre-vetted from the tribe, and that pre-vetting from the tribe makes her attracted to you. So how do you do that? Work on your social skills. Build a social network. Use what they call social game. But don't do it backwards like most people. Don't go out and meet people just so they can introduce you to a woman. Be a person who is naturally outgoing and social to other people. Just live your natural life and whenever you see someone that you feel like talking to, start a friendly conversation with them. Make some small chit chat. Talk to the checker at the supermarket. Don't do these things and expect a woman to poof, pop out like magic at the other end. And don't think of this in terms of what can I do to get X? How long do I have to do this to get that? How long before a woman falls into my lap? Don't expect to show up at your local chess club meeting and then have a magic woman fall from the heavens right into your lap. That's perfect for you. It doesn't work that way. Instead, put meeting woman out of your mind truly become outcome independent. Do things that you enjoy doing, and as you move through life, just make small talk conversation with people that you feel comfortable making small talk conversation with. If that's too much to do now, just start off with eye contact and a smile and hey, what's up? And just live your life the way you live your life and be friendly to people that you feel comfortable being friendly with. Think of this like people think of physical exercise. Nobody exercises for a week and says, okay, where's the results of my exercise? People exercise every day because they know there's a lot of benefits. They don't exercise because exercise is inherently pleasant. They exercise because of the massive benefits. It makes them feel better about themselves. It helps them to live longer. It helps them maintain a healthy weight. It helps them look better. It increases their confidence. There are tons of benefits of daily exercise. And people that do exercise every day, they don't think, well, I'll do this for three or four months, then I'll stop because I'll have what I want. They exercise every day and they realize they will exercise every day for the rest of their life or as long as they can. So see these daily social exercises in the same way. Just go out in your life, live your life, be social with people that you feel confident being social with. And eventually you will meet people that you click with, guys and girls. You will meet people that you click with. You like them, they'll like you, you'll have a friendly conversation and at the end of that conversation say, hey, you're pretty cool, we should hang out sometime. Here's my business card or here's my social media or here's my phone number and just slowly collect people as you move through life and build a social circle. And through this social circle, you will be pre-vetted and the women that naturally drift into the social circle will be attracted to you because you've pre-vetted yourself through this social circle. Do this as a matter of course. Do this as part of your daily life. Avoid the thinking that says do X and get Y. And if you make this a choice, if you make this a decision, if you make it a daily habit to do this as often as you can, as regularly as you can, you will gain a lot of benefits. Just like people who exercise every day gain a lot of benefits you'll become much more confident. Your personality will slowly become more and more attractive. So you just will need to be yourself and people, girls, through your social circle will be naturally attracted to you. You'll have much more charisma. You'll develop much stronger conversational skills. You'll be much more confident. You'll have a better outlook on life. There are tons of benefits. So start slowly, go slowly, don't push yourself. Get rid of the idea of demanding results and thinking of how long do I need to do this before I get results and just be a friendly, outgoing person. Start wherever you are. 
and just live your daily life. Be friendly with people that you meet. Say, hey, what's up? Make some small talk. Make a comment about something going on in the environment and just live your life. Be social and allow your social group, allow your social network, allow your social sphere of people and friends to slowly grow organically over time and just let women slide in, see how you're vetted through your social group and let that attraction build. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to learn more about how to improve your personality, your conversation skills, and your confidence, check out the links below. Please like and subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.